hello guys welcome back to the automation revolution in this video we are going to discuss about distributed control system so for the beginner uh, i will request you to please first learn about plc's cada and hmi so it will be very easy to understand uh, distributed control system so let's start first uh, basic definition of dc system so distributed control system or dcs is actually a control system for any process or plant uh, where control elements are distributed throughout the system or network it's differ from centralized control uh, where the single controller uh, or any uh, its central location handle the total system but in dcs and every system or every process elements has its own dedicated controller second thing uh, dcs is consist of large number of local control and all control have uh, different communication protocol so it can be profibus dp profibus uh, pa or uh, it can be uh, industrial ethernet or profinet what are the applications of dcs so mainly in oil uh, oil gas sector all process industries uh, whether it it will be uh, uh, continuous process or it can be control manufacturing process like uh, oil refining petrochemicals and power generations fertilizers pharmaceuticals food and beverage industries cement production steel making so in every process industries uh, mostly uh, dcs control system are used what are the basic elements of dcs so engineering station operating station automation station field bus plant bus or terminal bus these are the mainly uh, elements of dcs control system so that uh, we will see in next slide in detail first of all we will see this uh, network queue of dc system so at top side we have engineering stations from the engineering stations we can generate new project we can make programming for our automation station and uh, hardware configurations can be done with engineering station this engineering station has dedicated software uh, for parameterization and programming or making documentations uh, with dc system this engineering station and this automation station are connected with plant bus so this plant bus uh, we are using mostly uh, profinet or industrial ethernet so from the automation station it, uh, it this automation station is master control or dedicated control and uh, from this automation station uh, we have connected uh, this coupler with profibus dp and uh, from the from the coupler we have connected this uh, field devices with active field splitter or active field uh, distributor so that are the networking uh, devices that we will see in next slide so you can see uh, here we have used different communication protocol like uh, asi interface and hard interface profibus dp okay and uh, we have also used uh, profibus pn uh, dp so these are the uh, uh, distributed control systems also uh, we have used distributed io system and simo code kit so throughout the network we have different communication protocols and different networking devices and all are connected with main uh, automation station and uh, with automation station we can connect uh, hmi or operating stations for monitoring and controlling the process so first of all we'll see uh, engineering station so this engineering station is actually uh, it can be pc or any other computer uh, from there from the engineering stations we can configure hardware and we can generate a new project uh, also we can create various input and output logic modifying sequential con uh, continuous process control we can con uh, configure distributed devices and uh, we can prepare documentation for input and output so engineering station uh, is one type of pc from there we can uh, it's have uh, dedicated software and from there we can uh, make downloading for programming and hardware configuration second uh, important thing or element is operating station so operating station is actually used for operate and monitor uh, the control plant parameters it can be pc hmi or any other monitoring device that has a separate software tool and uh, which operate view process parameters according to the take control action and os station uh, can be single unit or multiple units where single unit performs functions uh, like parameter uh, view display and trend display alarm and process control uh, with real time application 
so this will be uh, operating station like that so different uh, station can be placed and uh, in from the stations we can monitor process in real time and uh, different screens are providing graphical representation for the process uh, with trend alarms and uh, process parameters we can uh, monitor from this auto uh, opening station now automation station so this automation station is any uh, controller or hardware uh, from for performing the logical task like P plc but uh, here it will work as a master control and this automation station has more uh, capacity as compared to plc plc can handle uh, up to 100 io but uh, this automation station uh, can handle uh, handle thousands of in input and output it registers a uh, process uh, pro, uh, variable from the connected uh, distributed io or uh, it can send uh, data with uh, to input and output it supplies the operator station uh, with the data for visualization and uh, it registers the actions on operator station for uh, forward them to the process so here we have uh, this automation station so right now uh, this is the power supply and here we have Siemens PCS7 uh, Win LC RTX this is uh, Siemens automation station and uh, this automation station we can connect with uh, distributed IO system so these are the distributed IO and we have connected with main communication processor and from this communication processor uh, any uh, plant bus can be connected with this uh, automation station so that we will see in the next video how to configure this automation station and a distributed IO distributed IO or remote IO so it can be placed near to field devices where sensor and actuators uh, are connected with system or certain locations where these field devices are connected via communication link it receives uh, instruction from engineering station like set point and other parameters uh, directly control field devices it can sense and control both analog and digital input output by analog and digital input output module so these modules are uh, can be uh, expandable according to the number of input and output it can collect the information from the discrete field devices and send the information to the operating station or engineering station so here uh, you can see these are the distributed IO system so based on applications we can select uh, this number of input and output so th this can be discrete or analog and uh, all input and output can be connected in serial and from that all uh, input and output uh, IO can communicate with this communication processor so this, uh, we can say extended terminals or uh, CP card and from this communication processor uh, we can connect this automation station so by this profi bus cable or plant bus we can connect uh, both automation station and distributed io so these are uh, the distributed io can be connected in field area and from the field area we are uh, sending the data in automation station field bus or plant bus and terminal bus so field bus is communication bus from field device to device coupler which are installed in the field area or potential explosive area plant bus is communication bus from uh, device coupler to automation station or operating station for supervisory monitoring level so in field bus mostly uh, profi bus pa dp uh, that type of potential uh, that uh, protocol that can be placed in potential explosive area so that type protocols were placed in field bus and uh, in the plant bus high speed communication uh, cable like profinet or industrial ethernet tcp ip uh, that type of protocol we are using in plant bus so based on application and environment zone we are uh, selecting this communication protocols system redundancy and field devices so dcs must have redundancy in order to continue the process so sometimes in ob abnormal conditions any device or any uh, controller can be failed so in the in that case this process must be uh, continue in real time so for the redundancy uh, we are using different hardware devices like active field splitter active field distributor 
and active field distributed for potential explosive area so that we will see in this next slide so what are the this uh, uh, field devices so you can see uh, based on uh, this environment zone so for gas we have class 1 and uh, here different zone uh, we have uh, divided so for gas we have uh, zone 0 zone 1 and zone 2 and uh, for dust we have class 2 zone 0 zone 1 and zone 2 so this is automation station we have connected uh, with extended terminals or distributed io and this distributed io are connected with active train sensor so you can see uh, this uh, these two areas hazardous area or potential explosive area and based on uh, that we are selecting this distributed io so you can see in the normal condition we are using et 200 s and uh, for this hazardous or potential explosive area we are using et 200 isp so it's uh, used for potential explosive area and uh, based on this environment we are using uh, this communication protocol so here we have used this profibus dp and here we are using this profibus pa or uh, any other protocols so based on uh, this environment zone we are using this actuator act sensor interface as well as communication protocols now uh, here uh, we are using aft or afs so afs is uh, acti active field splitter so this active field splitter is actually used for uh, making redundancy with this coupler so you can see here we have connected two uh, dppa coupler so when any uh, one coupler will fail so that time uh, second uh, coupler will be uh, take place for communication and with the help of this afs we can connect this field devices with main station or automation station here we have uh, used this afd active field distributor so generally this active field distributor used for uh, connecting field devices uh, with this coupler so when uh, any uh, the, here we have used this ring redundancy so when any uh, active field distributor will fail so in that case a coupler can carry the data with automation station so like that afd and fs are uh, used for uh, establishing this redundancy in this DC system here uh, we have used FDIS so these are uh, active field distributed uh, IS is actually used for potential explosive area you can see here we have zone 0 and here we have zone 1 so based on that we are selecting this uh, field devices and all the field devices are connected with active field distributor here we have connected uh, AFD in uh, ring so when any uh, this communication uh, link will be failed so in that case this AFD can carry the information uh, with second link uh, with automation station here we have connected AFS active field splitter so uh, this active field splitter uh, used for uh, making redundancy with this coupler so when a coupler will fail so in second uh, second directions we can send the data to automation station or DP master. In last, we have a uh, Y link. So this Y link is actually used for uh, making redundancy with communication link. So you can see here we have this operating operating station, and this is a local configuration tool for making programming or parameterization. And here we have automation station or master control. And uh, with automation station, we have made two link. And that two link are connected in Y shape. So you can see uh, when any coupler uh, this communication will fail. So in that case, it can carry information via second cable. When this cable will fail, so in that case, this uh, second link will send the data to automation station. So like that, we can make redundancy uh, for this coupler. We can make redundancy for uh, device field devices, or we can uh, make redundancy for automation station also there are many other uh, parameters there are many other uh, <coughs> things can be uh, placed in distributed control system so after this we will see a very basic thing uh, thank you very much for watching the video and if you have any query or questions you can ask in our youtube channel 
please share and subscribe as much as uh, to know about this automation revolution thank you very much Thank mm -hmm. you.